so look I'm, I'm i'm a bit nervous about this video but i don't know why am i the only one when it's the day before my wash day i go to youtube and i'm like detangle natural hair quick detangle <laughs> so i've been seeing this one particular video from natural 85 whitney and it is 25 minutes detangle and co-wash and i'm like girl Ain't gonna happen, ain't gonna happen. So I said, you know what, Vivian? Let's go ahead and try it and see what happens. You know, if anything, we'll just try it. I can say I tried it. So I'm gonna switch up things a little bit differently because I have 4B4C texture and my density is ridiculous. So I'm going to be trying her method on extremely, I wouldn't say extremely, a little bit matted wash and go. This wash and go is seven days old. Yes, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be starting off using warm water um, with a little bit of apple cider vinegar, uh, probably one tablespoon, okay? And then for my uh, conditioner, so let me back up. What she does is she applies coconut, coconut oil, excuse me, and a great conditioner with slip onto her hair, allow that to marinate. Then she jumps into the shower with a, the same conditioner or another one and proceeds to finger detangle in the shower in 25 minutes or less. So we're gonna see, girl. For my conditioner, um, we're gonna be using a combination of the VO5 strawberries and cream. I know that's focusing. And I have just a little bit of Suave's coconut conditioner here. Of course, I have coconut oil. All right, now when she's in the shower, once she's done rinsing out the product, she uses um, aloe vera juice. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you what I'm going to use. For my co-wash, I'm gonna be using Suave's Almond and Shea Butter. This is Bay. This is Bay. This has the best slip ever. I probably will kill half of this, if not all of it. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to be applying um, Apple Juice Carrington and Green Tea Reconstructor. And for my leave-in, I'm going to be using the Talia Wajid, the Curls Detangler. That's going to be my leave-in. Even though it's a detangler, it's a great leave-in. Now, I'm still debating whether or not I want to use my rice water. This is a jar of rice water that's been fermenting for about three days. Girl, this is orange full in here. Um, this is jasmine organic rice. I'm not sure whether or not I want to use it today. All right, you guys, let me go ahead and get some warm water. Um, put in the apple cider vinegar and we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so I have one more to here. I'm gonna put in some apple cider vinegar. Ooh, yeah, I, I, I bet not be in the shower. What was that? I think that was a, a warning sign not to do it, girl. Um, <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm just going to take my hair down. Like I said, this is a very old wash and go using the wet line extreme gel and the melanin hair care. I'm going to show you uh, what the shrinkage is like right now. My hair is at bra strap length. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray my hair all over with this warm water apple cider vinegar mi mixture and then I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair. Okay. Okay, so lightly misting my hair, and the first thing I apply is the conditioner, and then I lather on the coconut oil, and I'm going to be very heavy-handed, you guys, because I want my hair basically almost saturated with both products, okay? Okay, so I'm just about done and just gonna finish up this section right here. This took me eight minutes to do and I left the pre-poo on for two hours. In the shower, look at my face. Yeah, this felt heavenly rinsing out. However, I don't know you guys, my hair kind of felt funny with the gel and putting that coconut oil on it. I'm using a comb to lightly detangle my hair it took quite a bit of time to rinse out the pre-poo, um, longer than it should have in my opinion, okay?
So most of the pre-poo is out. I'm going to go ahead and dump in on that rice water mixture and then go right in with the um, almond shea butter by Suave, okay? And I'm going to use almost all of it. Yeah, almost all, like 75% of the jar. So giving you a little hair point, you guys, my hair feels amazing. I absolutely love this particular product by Swab, the conditioner at least. I will say my camera stop and my camera stops at the 16 minute mark. So I've already been in a shower for almost 20 minutes at this point, but I'm going to continue rinsing out the uh, conditioner, AKA co-wash and we're going to finish up. Again, this is the Apogee Carrington Reconstructor. Next, I'm going to apply the leave-in. I'm going to use maybe, I don't know. It depends. I have no idea where my camera left off at. I was adding my leave-in conditioner and my oil. Um, my camera stops at 16 minutes. And I do apologize, my battery went dead while I was recording. I did end up applying, what I was trying to say is that I normally do apply my leave-in conditioner and my oil and the shower. I don't use a lot because I style my hair two days later. Let me move on. So it was a little interesting, you guys. You saw my face. I'm animated, I know. Um, I have not used coconut oil exclusively by itself in years. I typically use an oil mixture. So I felt like my hair was like, girl, what are you doing? We don't know if you like this or love it. <laughs> So it took a while to rinse out the coconut oil with the conditioner, basically the pre-poo, before I was able to actually co-wash my hair. Overall, um, I did not do it in 25 minutes or less. It was 35 minutes. So I don't know, you guys, considering that I left the pre-poo on for two hours, like I stated, those that two hours, I could have been finger detangling my hair, jump in a shower. Um, I could have shampooed and conditioned my hair with the amount of time it took me to actually rinse out the pre-poo and co-wash my hair because, I don't know, it, you have to keep in mind too, I had gel in my hair. I used the uh, Extreme Wet Line, drip, or Wet Line Extreme Gel and so yeah. I would definitely recommend trying this if you don't have as much hair as I do. Now, I know Whitney has a lot of hair. She has a lot of hair and she has long hair. For those of us in the four category with washing goes, we all know it could be a bit challenging when you detangle, which is why normally I do, regardless, I finger detangling, detangle, but especially with a wash and go, I take my time to finger detangle. I would try this again on a looser hair, meaning an old twist out. Um, I would not use coconut oil the next time. I would use my normal oil mixture, which consists of coconut oil, but mostly sweet almond oil. Um, but I say give it a try, see if it works. Um, and that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.